Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 Firefighter Mod video. Today we are continuing our mini-series with the Polito Bay Fire skins that we have been using. You guys have been absolutely enjoying it. Thank you guys so much for all of the support on all of the videos. So, so far we use the mini engine or truck 1. Uh, over there we have used the TAC rescue already if you guys want to check out those two videos I'll definitely link them in the video description and the uh, pinned comment as well today we're gonna be running the Freightliner engine this thing is awesome guys like I was showing you guys in the other episode I just love the logo Skinworks did an amazing job on this logo here and I love the colors as well it just looks really really cool so anyway guys we're at station number one here in Blaine County uh, Polito Bay and let's see what ends up happening I really do hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get this one started Start it. All units, we've got a vehicle on fire in Palato Bay. All right, first call coming in. Looks like we have a car fire. Let's go ahead and respond to that. guys have been asking me to use the power call a little bit more, so I'm going to try to use it today. This is our vehicle here. Yep, yep that is it. Alright, let's get ready to rumble. I don't know why I said that. All right, got our line stretched. Oh, no, don't drive into the fire, please. Please don't do that. Oh, come on, don't blow up on me. Don't blow up on me. Oh, shoot. I was like two seconds too late. I was hoping I could prevent it from blowing up. You gotta be really fast with, this, with these GTA fires. Alright, looks like the fire is going to be under control. Not sure what caused that. Doesn't appear to be anybody inside or around the area. I'll call a uh, tow truck out here. And we'll be back in service. So by the way guys, we are using fire callouts. Um, you guys can find fire callouts on lspdfr.com. I am using a beta version of the callouts though. Um, that's how we're able to use this fire hose. It is a work in progress. If you guys would like to check it out, you can get the beta version by um, joining Panos' Discord. I mean, I'm sorry, his um, Patreon, which I will link down below in the video description. And eventually, this will all be public, but for now, while it's in testing, it is just only in the beta. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the firehouse. Ooh, we got a little bit of Scary a shit, right? fender bender here. I forgot to turn off the pump. Okay, now we should be good. Damn, look how the parts of the car flew all over the place. Alright, I don't know what... Okay, they finally worked it out. I was gonna say, we're gonna be here all day waiting for these two trucks. Alright, so let's head back towards the firehouse. Good job, everybody.
structure on fire in Badham Canyon. All right, looks like we're getting a call. It's actually very far away, but I wasn't able to get any closer calls, so we'll just go ahead and take it. I'm like always knocking people down by accident in my episodes. Four miles. All right, this is going to be one heck of a journey here, guys. Just roll over. Somebody call Ace Tony for that. So this is a pretty long ride guys, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sirens and the air horns. Trucks are worse because they just do not pay attention to your sirens. stupid. Alright, we have smoke showing. Looks like we are almost there. We're going to be going to work. fill our engine from that car fire so that's gonna kind of affect our attack yeah we're gonna still need another unit to come help us out you know what let's just go ahead and start out another unit from now
sorry about the siren being stuck on. That's a problem with ELS vehicles. So it looks like we have most of the fire knocked down. Let's have some fire on the inside. Now the problem is I forgot to reinstall. I, I reinstalled my game, but I forgot to reinstall every single mod, so I don't have open. Oh wait, actually no, we can go in here. Okay. I thought this was a one of those ones we need open interior for. Alright, hopefully we don't run out of water because I dismissed the extra engine. I have to make this water count. So now, guys, pay attention and look at how smoky it is in here. Now, once we ventilate the roof, you guys are going to see the smoke all dissipate and go away, which is really cool as we ventilate it out of here. Looks like we still have some fire in the ceilings here. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, let's get a ladder. And we can probably set it up right over here. Bro, they're closed right now. Just enough water to knock these out. Alright. Uh, we got a little spot down here still burning. Looks like that may be an area where we cannot reach it. But what we're going to do now, let's try to ventilate the roof. I always miss my ladder every single time I'm trying to come down. Alright, let's grab a bike. Let's head back up, do a little bit of truck work now. So as we start to ventilate the roof, you guys are going to see the smoke start to disappear. Alright, roof is vented. So we have slightly less smoke. Let's uh, head back down and do a secondary search. No, I tried. Alright, so now, if you guys remember, there's way less smoke in here compared to how it was originally when we first came in. So that is how ventilation works with fire call outs. Pretty cool. So we'll put this away. Um, what should we do now? I think I'm going to... Let's get another truck out here again just to fill us up. And then we'll get back in service. Alright, so they have their engine pumping into ours, and then ours should get refilled. Alright, thanks guys. Alright, we are disconnected and we are back in service. Oh, no, 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 no. I always forget to do this Hell too. No. <laughs> gotta, gotta turn off the pump first and now we can get in. There we 
we go. Alright, so let's go get our engine clean because this thing is filthy right now, and then we'll get back into service. Citizens report an ambulance requested in Palato Bay. Alright, we got an EMS run. Let's go ahead and take this one in. A person is feeling sick and needs help. Alright, let's respond to it. We may get there before the ambulance, so if we do, we'll just treat the patient until the ambulance gets there. Damn, they are literally right next to the hospital. <laughs> this guy walking around? Oh no, I was about to say, he's walking pretty well. Alright, let's grab a medical bag and let's see what's up with him. Hey, how you doing, sir? You okay? okay let's see what's wrong with him. Not feeling very well. It started this morning. I think I have a fever. Oh boy, not a fever. Alright, let's check him out. Alright, it looks like he's in respiratory distress. Things to do first oxygen. Alright, so let's work on getting him some oxygen. Alright, and it also says to do this too. Alright, he is stable for transport, so I'm going to go ahead and call a ambulance for him. So it seems like he's having some type of respiratory problem, so it's best that he goes to the hospital and get checked out in this situation. So the ambulance is going to come and pick him up and transport him, and then we should be good. Hopefully he will be okay. It's cool how you can just pick up the bag and put it down and work and do what you have to do. Very, very cool. Alright, here goes our ambulance. And there goes our ambulance leaving now. That was some issues getting over here. It's gonna take them a little bit of time. Alright, finally I had to help them out a little bit, so they're gonna take him. I gotta remember to add in the stretcher. Don't mind that. But yeah guys, we did what we had to do. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And also, if you would like to check out the new merchandise drop-in, 
We're getting the new logos. They're going to be dropping December 4th. That's the first Friday in December. Head over to my website, AcePilot2K7, and get a little sneak peek of the new merch and the new logos that will be dropping. And also, guys, don't forget to check out my website, AcePilot2K7.com. Also on the website, you'll be able to see a bunch of free mod lists and tutorials so you guys can learn where to download mods from and how to install mods for GTA 5 completely free. I have a bunch of free tutorials. Also, if you'd like to become a supporter and subscribe to my website, that will give you access to my behind the scenes videos, which shows you how I make these videos and what mods I do and how I do two cool things like making vehicles follow each other and stuff like that. So if you'd like to see stuff like that, check out my behind the scenes section. And I also have another section, the first access videos that will show you some videos that are exclusively only uploaded on my website. So if you'd like to check those out, definitely consider becoming an ace subscriber and checking out the website again it is acepilot2k7.com but thank you guys for all of the support glad you guys enjoyed all the different fire vehicles that we did again we used the um the mini engine which was kind of like a brush truck we used the mini rescue and then we used a, this engine here so um, the only thing we didn't really use was the Chief, the Tahoe, but maybe we'll use that in an episode. Let me know if you guys would like me to do a video as the Battalion Chief. And should I do a live stream with this pack? Do you guys think this would be a good pack? We could do a live stream and then we could just, you know, run everything in a live stream. So let me know if you guys think that is a good idea by leaving a comment. But again, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.